Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm up in the backyard working on my bar still. But nonetheless, I'm dropping another impromptu review on y'all. And this time, what we're gonna be doing a review of is the BAM. This is the rigid octane seven and a quarter inch 18 volt circular saw. Now, um, I don't know that much about um, circular saws other than just, I guess, how to use them and cut with them. Um, but I watched enough videos on this to where I can give you my take on this. Um, I am not a professional. I say that every single time. Um, and uh, what a lot of people do ask me, a lot of my friends ask me, is like, why would you buy rigid? Because they notice that all my tools are, are rigid tools. And they ask me, why would I buy rigid tools um, when I could buy like DeWalt or Makita or Milwaukee? And I was like, the main reason why I buy rigid tools all the time is for one main reason. Bam, LSA, Lifetime Service Agreement. Now, like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, I tend to, um, sometimes there's a possibility that I may not use it correctly and maybe it may break or malfunction or I might just drop it because I can have a clumsy moment. And that's where the LSA comes in. You register this bad boy within a month of uh, you buying it and basically what happens is once you do that you get for the lifetime of this um, of your tool no matter what happens to it except for it getting stolen obviously but if you break it any way form or faction they will fix it or replace it um, and no one Home Depot um, when you bring it to them they'll most likely just give you a new one um, that's just I mean, this is Home Depot's brand, so it's probably easier for them to just give you a new one. Unless it's something easy to break, like like the uh, blade guard or something like that, okay? Um, so, um, we'll, get in, we'll get more into that later. Um, also, I watched enough videos to know that um, it comes with a, uh, a, st a standard uh, um, blade, a uh, 24 tooth framing blade. Um, but a lot, of pe a lot of videos that I watched saying that you should just go ahead and get yourself a uh, Diablo blade. Um, 40 teeth or higher. I went with the 60, 60 tooth because they said it works so much better. The Diablo blades make this make this um, uh, saw a much better saw than uh, it, it is with the stock blade. But enough about that. Let's let's get into it. You know what? Before we get into this, now that I already opened up the box. Why don't you go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified when I put out a new video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And also share it with someone who you think um, would also like this video. It would really help me and the channel out a lot. So with that being said, let's just go right ahead and get into this. Oh, you know what? Before I go into the box, let's take a look around it. This is the front of the box right here. Got your artwork, brushless, 18 volt, seven and a half inch circular saw. Um, whole bunch of stuff down there. See if you can get in on that. You can read that for yourself. You got your LSA. On this side, you got just some more artwork. And just so you know, that's the model number of this particular saw, the R8654B. On this side of the box, got some more artwork there. Top of the box, it says it's 100% compatible with all tools using the 18 volt batteries. Bottom of the box, got your specs right there. You know, seven and a half inch um, blade, cut depth two and 11 sixteenths. Um, the uh, 5600 RPMs, 18 volts, and uh, some other stuff which if you buy this tool you can read that stuff. And then the back of the box, just some more artwork on different things. Um, you can use this, they have a new Bluetooth battery technology. I do not have the Bluetooth battery so I will not be testing that. I have my regular 18 volt batteries from my Gen 5X's. Um, this is the only Octane tool that I own right now maybe i'll start um, swapping out my uh drills and stuff to the octane versions um afterwards but right now this is what i have okay enough about that
got your literature here. You know I'm not reading that. And you got your standard blade here, which we're replacing that with the Diablo, like I said. Okay. Here goes your attachment for, um, so you can hook your saw up to it. Bong. Take that. Once again, here goes the blade. I already showed you that. 24 tooth framing blade, basic blade. You got your hook here. Um, basically, it's a hook so you can like uh, hang it, hang it on to uh, things like your um, your saw racks and stuff like that, just to make it easier so you don't drop it on the floor. And another part to hook that, to connect that. Here's the real deal. What we came here for, baby. Let's uh, get you a. Closer look. Move the camera in a little bit better. Okay, so here goes. You got your plastic saw guard here, which a lot of people said they would much rather be metal, but this is heavy gauge plastic, so that's um that's pretty good. And my it's you know good for what I need. It's about 8.6 pounds um, from front to back. It's about 15 and a half inches. And from bottom to top, it's about nine and a quarter inches. Um, you have two spots for edge guards here, your own edge guards, one right here and one right there. So you can put in two different edge guards if you like. Uh, it has the positive stops, you know, for each increment, all the positive increments. So you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the clicking, each increment clicks into the spot. And then whenever you find a spot, just go ahead and flip down that lever and just go ahead and lock it in. The belt was locked in now. At a, a max depth cut at 45 degree angles is 2.8 and some change inches. Um, I'm just trying to think of things as we go along. It has a dedicated LED trigger here. You press this button right here and it shines the LED light underneath there. And it's right sits where your pinky is. So that way when you press on the actual trigger, your pinky is hitting the light or you can just hit the light itself. It has a flip down safety trigger right here. So which I like better than actual push button trigger. So now you're sitting there holding like that, you just flip it down. Boom, activate trigger. You got your, um, Got your spot for your 18 volt battery right there. You got your saw changing Allen wrench right built directly in. And it's in there, it's in there pretty tight, so it's not gonna just fall out on you, but it's not too tight to where you can't pull it out. When you go to change the blade, you make sure you press this button down right there and it stops the blade from spinning. You got your handle here just for give you extra extra stability when um when making your cuts you got your positive stops also on your angles you can hear those all the pos all the um the uh, popular spots you got your you got your rulers on there which it's kind of indented in there you can't really see it that well so i may you know color them in a little bit so that we can see it better but if you have bad eyes you probably have a hard time with that but they're there same thing on, on here too. <clears throat> See the other side here, what she looks like. Top, you got a nice soft rubbery grip handle there, so non-slippage action. This is, seems like it's well constructed. This is well constructed. Like I said, you got the safety uh, flat button. It is passed through, so it goes from one side so you can access it with your left or your right hand. Um, you have a super fast um, um, blade break. Once we uh, get it all hooked up, I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. 
Um, I did mention the adjust adjustable saw hanger. I did mention it. I know I'm going over things that I already said, but I'm just trying to remember things. Uh, the sawdust discharge is going to be directly out the back over here. And also that's going to be where you're, you're going to be able to attach your, um, what you call it, blade somehow. i got to figure that out, how to attach the, uh, the, uh, the vacuum attachment. I think this is right here. I'm not exactly sure how to do it, but I'm sure there's some way to do it. Once I figure that out, I'll show you. Uh, you could do, um, um, it's really easy to do your plunge cuts. Basically, you know, you release the, and then you can just do straight plunge cuts directly in, nice and simple. Okay, so. I'm just trying to, you know, remember things, remember things. I don't want to forget anything. And like I said before, I know I mentioned this before, it takes, it works best with the octane batteries, which they make a four amp octane, six amp, and a nine amp octane battery, which the octane battery is designed to, because they're smart batteries, they work with Bluetooth, they connect to your phone, and they're designed to with smart technology. So that way, when you are uh, cutting some hard wood like uh, MDF or something like that, and it requires more power, the battery will surge more power to the saw in order to make that um, cut as smooth as possible. Um, not that you can't do it with a regular battery, it's just that you're gonna feel it bogged down a bit more, but it, it, it should still make the cut, no problem. But enough uh, specs about this bad boy, because I've been talking for 13 minutes already. Um, let's uh, slap a battery into this bad boy and uh, show what we're working with. So uh, catch you on the flip real quick. I just want to show you what it looks like with the vacuum attachment on there. Um, bong, just like that. So basically all you have to do is down in there, there's a little screw. You just unscrew that, pop the old attachment off which shoots the um, sawdust out the side and screw your vacuum attachment pop your old vac pop your vacuum attachment back back on there and screw it back on nice and tight and then what happens is it closes off the side chute and makes all the dust come out the back um, especially when you have that vacuum going it's just going to suck it right up so just wanted to show you that guys because i just figured that out all right so let's slap a battery in and uh get this bad boy going okay we back in um I have the battery over here. I'm about to throw on the uh, Diablo blade real quick, but I want to show you how easy it is to change the blade. Basically, you press the button back there. You hold that down, and while holding that down, you go ahead and take your your uh, wrench, and then you loosen up. And once you loosen it up, it's all loosened. And now you can hand loosen it. Simple as that. Remember the order that you take it off. You pull this point off first and you put it back on last. You take off the outside little collet there. Pull back your guard, slap your blade in. Always make sure the, um, the, uh, the um, label of the blade face outward so that way the teeth, because the teeth is gonna turn this way towards you. So you wanna make sure the point of the teeth are facing towards you and the, and the face of the blade is facing outward. Throw that on there, release the blade guard, throw the collet back on there. Make sure you put it on there right because it's kind of like a circle or rectangular circle type situation. It only fits on there one way. So make sure you put that on in the right way and then throw your nut back on there to tighten it all up. Screw it up. All right, then press down the button again and turn it, put your user wrench to turn it to make it nice and snug. Now that bad boy is on there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, or I just want to show you real quick. This is the little, um, the little saw hanger hook. It uses two screws. You loosen up the screws and you can slide up and down to adjust the height of it. I wish they had maybe like some kind of clamp, kind of like they have for the rest of the saw, because then you're pulling out your screwdriver just to loosen the screws to do that. 
kind of like the same with uh, this. They should have just made it work and just clip on and clip off instead of having to use a screw. I understand screwing it in to make sure that that bad boy is not going anywhere, but still, you know, if they if they trust their clamps with the um, the positive angles, they should be able to test their clamps to hold the the saw hanger. You know. All right. Well, enough about that. Let's slap this battery in there. I got the just regular four amp um, hour battery. Okay. So now, first thing we're gonna do is check that saw stoppage there. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip down on the little flipper here, the safety flipper. And press the trigger. Look how fast that bad boy stops. Full speed, stop. Under a second. See, now, that's awesome. Like, let's just say, hypothetically, you're holding this saw, and it's on, and you drop it. It's going to immediately stop way before it hits the ground. So, you don't have to worry about causing any damage to the motor or anything like that. You may crack your blade guard or something, but... You know, your blade guard could probably easily be replaced, but your motor, um, it can't. So, um, but, but that's the good thing about having the lifetime service agreement, because with the lifetime service agreement, um, anything happens to it, doesn't matter if it's caused by you or by you know, malfunction or whatever, you have that service agreement. Um, you uh, activate it, you call them up or whatever, and either you take it to Home Depot or, you know, you send it in. I'm not exactly sure how it works, haven't had to use it, but it's there to replace it for any reason. So um, let's set up in a different spot, get some uh, wood out here and uh, make a couple cuts. So um, catch you on the flip. Okay, we back in. We got the rigid uh, octane saw with the Diablo blade attached, um, 60 tooth. And we're gonna cut a little bit of uh, pressure treated wood here. Um, so um, let's just get right into it. cuts of a two by four that fast look how smooth that cut is on that diablo blade that bad boy is like finished smooth these are like finished cuts which is the reason why i like this blade versus just a regular construction or framing blade so look at that and this is pressure treated wood not only is it pressure treated wood but it's old wood this wood has been sitting out in my yard literally for five years and I finally just use it just to prop up my little shelter that I have here to protect some stuff from the elements. And um, I didn't want to pull it out. And it's the only piece of wood that I have to really express how um, strong, how powerful this saw is. Because um, not only is it press tree, like I said, it's been out in the elements for five years. So it's probably kind of hard too. But this made, this saw made mince meat of it. It made, it went through it no problem, easy peasy. So it'll go through a regular piece of two by four, no problem. Um, look at that, look how smooth that is. So um, what I have to say is um, I have to recommend this. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of different tests on it. Like I said, I'm not a professional. This is basic, this is my basic use of it, just cutting two by fours, you know, uh, ripping in a, in a cutting wood, maybe some pallets, stuff like that. So um, for what I need it and what I think the average person would use this for, it, it, it's perfect and uh, I would even think a professional could even use this saw because like I said it's the build quality on this is like a1 um, I when I was in the store feel even though I knew I was gonna buy this particular saw when I was in the store I was playing with some of the other saws and a lot of the other saws are really light and they feel like toyish especially like the the Ryobi and you know like the Porter cables and stuff like that um, but um, I'm glad I stuck with my rigid. You know, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than a Ryobi or a Porter cable. But like I said, you get that LSA, that lifetime service agreement, and that makes it well worth it because all the other saws they usually have like a three to five year um, warranty, mostly three, and those warranties are limited. Um, they don't take into accountability for user, user error. With this, it doesn't matter what's wrong with it. As long as you still have it, if it's not working, they'll replace it or they'll fix it or replace it. So that is that justifies the price of the saw 
and uh, everything else. So um, with that being said, I'm Nez, and this has been the official unboxing and review of the um, rigid 18-volt brushless octane um, circular saw. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, I'm curious to know how you feel about this, you know, professionals and non-professionals alike. Um, I respond to everybody within a, within a couple days of uh, seeing your comment um, live. And, um, yeah, like I said before, hit that subscribe button. Hit that, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Um, links will be down in the description for Home Depot because that's where you want to buy this because that's where you want to get the lifetime service agreement. Um, because uh, you don't want to buy it on Amazon or, or eBay or something like that because basically you're just buying a saw and you're not getting your LSA. The LSA only applies when you buy it from Home Depot. So I will put the links to Home Depot so you can buy this saw down in the description. Um, like I said, leave me a comment. And I'm out this piece. Get this. It's, it's, it's worth the money.